assalamu alaikum student in today class we will study the uh, chemistry topic of o level class uh, particular nature of matter in previous classes we have studied the uh, particular nature of matter in which we have studied the state of matter shapes volume compressibility of the states of matter solid liquid and gases kinetic particular particles theory solid state and liquid state and gases state we have studied th these things in previous class now today we will study the change in state it is also belong to the partic particulate nature of matter now inshallah in today class we will study this theory which I highlight here change of state yes student you see towards the board it is highlighted here change in state its state change mean uh, liquid change into solid solid change into liquid or uh, uh, gaseous state liquid change into gaseous state these are the change of the states which we will study in today class okay in notes you see at the upside of board here is solid is a liquid or melting solid to liquid when solid change into liquid state its mean this is known as melting now here i mark this one solid to liquid it is known as melting when solid change into liquid it's mean melting is formed solid is melted okay when we give the heat solid molecules the attraction force between the molecules decreases and molecules moving away from each other and solid change due to the movement of the molecule solid melt and change its state and melting is formed liquid to solid okay it's mean this is the inverse of melting in melting we provide the heat uh, solid uh, and particles gaining the heat and melting changing into uh, liquid in when we when we uh, decreasing the heat of the particles just like of particles are in liquid state and we decrease the heat of the particles and particles uh, decreasing their energy of movement and particles comes uh, together or comes near to each other and uh, when particles comes near to each other particles uh, freezing or particles uh, gaining their fixed position now this is known as the freezing solid mean uh, melting means solid to liquid or uh, object solid object gaining the heat and particles gaining the energy moving away from the each other and uh, melting is formed solid changes in liquid state particles uh, losing their energy not gaining losing their energy and coming close to each other attraction becomes a strong and particles close to each other and form a solid liquid convert into solid it is known as the freezing okay and liquid to gases in this state also particle gaining the energy liquid particles energy is less but when they gain energy then uh, change into these particles change into gaseous or vapors form this is known as the evaporation or boiling so this is known as evaporation gas to liquid this is the same as liquid to solid uh, particle uh, losing their energy and coming closer to each other and they change their state gas to liquid form condensation this is known as the condensation gas to liquid condensation state is okay melting means solid to liquid freezing mean liquid to solid 
और एवोपरेशन और बॉइलिंग मीन लिक्विड टू गैस और गैस टू लिक्विड मीन कंडेंसेशन और सॉलिड टू गैस मीन दिस इज द डिफरेंट वे इन दिस वे ऑब्जेक्ट डायरेक्टली चेंज इन टू सॉलिड टू गैस ड्रॉप देयर लिक्विड स्टेट एंड डायरेक्टली गो टूवर्ड्स द गैस स्टेट दिस इज सबलिमेशन and gas to solid uh, this is the solidification okay gas to solid is solidification these are the some changes which is form when uh, a matter changing from one state to other melting form boiling form point at which melting is form is known as the melting point at which is boiling form bo known as the boiling point or uh, if these points are fixed or same there is no change in this point then we say object is pure when there is change form uh, not same boiling or melting form uh, coming of any substance uh, boiling or uh, um, uh, boiling and melting is not matching with the substance boiling it's been object is not pure pure substance have definite pure substance have definite melting and boiling point the presence of impurities will cause the change boiling point to rise and melting point to fall if there is any impurities in the objects their melting and boiling point uh, melting point uh, boiling point rises increases or melting point decreases falls the constant temperature at which a pure solid change into liquid is known as the melting point melting point is that temperature in which uh, liquid changing into the uh, solid changing into the liquid the constant temperature at which a pure liquid change into gas is known as the boiling point okay these are the some change in state now i will show you these changes on youtube okay check my lecture okay i will explain with the every technique notes board explanation also board explanation also and on youtube also i will explain these things no see how i explain these things on youtube okay this is also involved in my lecture uh firstly we talk about the melting we see how melting is formed uh, melting of solid i will show a movie belong to this uh, on youtube how melting is formed okay uh, no there is uh, there is given determination of melting point change of state there is okay now i am opening this video there is given a video in which uh, melting and solidification now it is given matter change of state now there is a liquid show at one side at one side no this is now there is a check this is the water and uh, water coming from these are the state solid liquid and gases okay uh, in solid particles are near fix and liquid particles are not fixed there is gap between the particles there is fixed particle joining if there is gap in liquid liquid particles can move or flow easily because there is a less attraction between the particles but in gas state particles having the high energy moving show in with this video yes particles moving with high speed gaseous particle energy is high uh object changing state from object changing state from uh solid to liquid liquid to gas 
and when uh, we reverse the change in states uh, gases to liquid liquid to solid this is okay no see here no this is the process you check here evaporation in evaporation object without boiling change into uh, liquid change into vapors or in boiling we apply the heat in base and gaining by gaining heat uh, particles changing into the vapors okay this is the difference between the condensation liquid converting into the uh, gas is converted into the liquid this is condensation and solid to liquid this is melting and liquid to solid this is freezing this check in this movie okay sublimation here the sublimation solid uh, directly changing into the gases state this is known as the sublimation solid directly changing into the now this diagram show the change of states uh, gases when we revert we revert the gases it is these gases are changing into liquid liquid into the solid solid into the gas these these are the some change okay now there is given uh, in when gas change into liquid it is condensation or liquid change into the gas it is evaporation or boiling liquid change into the solid it is melting or liquid change in uh, liquid change into the solid it is uh, freezing or solid change into the liquid it is melting and there is the solid directly change into the gas this is sublimation and uh, deposition uh, gaseous uh, gases form a solid state again this is the reverse of the sublimation okay you see here in this movie the totally about the change now i am explaining this on board now we have study in our notes firstly the change in state i mark or highlight it solid to liquid melting and then freezing the, these straight now i'm explaining these on board first of all i am clear the board now i'm coming towards the these two topics and explain on my board here i'm explaining these on board first is first is melting how melting is formed yes first one is melting what is melting if there is a solid in which particles are very particles are very near to each other particles are packed closely packed okay and we provide heat we give heat to solid when solid gaining heat mud particles going away gaining energy distance of particles form distance between the particles particles moving away 
uh, attractions becomes attraction forces becomes weaker no particles moving no particles are not fixed close not closely packed when particles uh, gaining the energy and moving away now melting is formed melting is formed this is the this is one of my object changing solid to liquid temperature at which object change solid to liquid is known as melting point secondly in notes the freezing freezing is the reverse of melting uh, in freezing a particles losing the energy liquid particles losing energy and coming near to each other coming near to each other and form a solid state this is the reverse liquid to solid object is coming liquid to solid this is the freezing temperature at which this happens it is known as the freezing point okay student now i am coming towards the next topic liquid to gases and gases this is evaporation or boiling okay when object change liquid to gas state or gaseous state i'm explaining it here in board on board okay for example there is a liquid particles are near nearer to each other but there are they are away than solid when we provide the heat energy to particles the particle gaining the energy their energy becomes higher attraction becomes lower particles changing into gas form this is known as the boiling temperature at which this happen it is the boiling point or when we decrease the temperature of the gases form losing energy temperature dropping temperature falling now gas change into liquid particles comes closer to each other forces become stronger now gas change into gas change into uh liquid when gas change into liquid this is known as the condensation okay student now clear now what is the evaporation or boiling uh, in evaporation also particles changing into gas state liquid particles changing into a uh, gaseous state but uh, there is no uh, uh, extra or excess heat provide we provide the heat liquid uh, liquid gaining the heat at normal temperature from the surrounding and changing into the vapor this is evaporation but when we provide the heat to the liquid this becomes the boiling okay condensation is the reverse of the boiling now solid state to gaseous state when directly solid object changing into the gas it is known as the sublimation and gases to solid when object reverse gas to change into solid not changing into the liquid when all gases change gases drop their energy and uh, and uh, becomes liquid this is the condensation okay and gases gaining the energy drop when gases change to solid it is the solidification it is a reverse of sublimation in sublimation solid change into gas or in solidification gas change into the solid these are the some change of state we study these in uh, today class inshallah in next classes we will study more oh, i show some diagram related to the changes also change of state images
object here where there is images images of change of states okay There is flow chart also given here, but particle change is not given in these images. Flow chart given. Okay. Check what happens. I check this flow chart. So this is the flow chart in which there is change of state is given. Now this is the See here, this is the flow chart. This is the flow chart parameter. But uh, it is not increasing, maybe it is not clear to you. explain this is on uh, board uh, particles images images of change of state This is the particle image. At one side, it is given uh, liquid gaining, solid gaining the energy, and particles going away. Lo attraction become loose. Solid change into liquid. This is known as the uh, melting. And liquid change into gases. Uh, particle gaining more energy, moving away. Now this is this state is known as the boiling state. When gases change into liquid, condensation. When gases directly change into solid, solidification, or solid directly change into gases, it is known as the sublimation. Now these are the topics. Okay. Uh, if there is any problem coming in understanding, you can comment uh, or you can ask on comment side. Uh, I have notes. Uh, if you want to want to try to understand these on notes, uh, I can provide you notes. But subscribe my channel bring more students on my side these are the o-level topics which i explain in today class i will explain further if any difficulty coming you can ask question on coming side by me okay okay students all of we will continue our classes subscribe my channel